Way back in March, when COVID-19 was just starting its lethal march across the country, Neil Browning of Bothell rolled up his sleeve and volunteered to help answer a towering question. Can researchers quickly and safely develop a coronavirus vaccine? If I'm healthy enough and I live in the area and it's not too burdensome, I should probably do this. I mean, we're all humans living on the same earth and we got to help each other. This week, Browning and 44 others participating in the first round of the study received a reassuring answer. The experimental vaccine appears to work. Seeing this is just wonderful. So far, there's no evidence that there are any serious safety concerns with this vaccine. And the people that received the vaccine are in fact mounting an immune response. Dr. John Dunn, a researcher with the Kaiser Permanente Washington Health Research Institute in Seattle, says he and others studying the vaccine are seeing exactly the results they hoped for. The advancement of knowledge in medicine in general uh, is usually made up of hundreds of little tiny steps. And, it, and this, as, as little steps go, this is a big one. In fact, the vaccine, which is being developed by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and drug maker Moderna, is given in two shots a month apart. Honestly, the only thing I had was the very next morning for maybe five minutes after waking up, the injection site was a little sore, much like you get when you had a typical flu shot. Researchers still don't know how the vaccine affects people over the age of 55. That's a population more vulnerable to serious illness. They also don't know how long immunity might last. That's something they're still studying. By the end of the month, this study will expand greatly to include 30,000 participants who will help prove if the vaccine indeed can extinguish coronavirus. In Seattle, Ted Land, King 5 News.